The dusty condition of the Ofanko to Nsuam Junction project is a significant concern for motorists and pedestrians alike. In addition to the inconvenience, it poses health risks and may result in increased vehicle maintenance costs. Urgent action is sought from authorities to ensure the well-being and safety of road users. Reporting for City News, Philip Nilati provides further details in the following report. This is the Ofanko to Nsuam Junction project. The project is a 33.4 kilometer stretch on both sides. When completed, we'll have a number of interchanges, footbridges and underbridge. Well, motorists and commuters who use this road or this project or this stretch on a daily basis are complaining about the dusty nature of the road. And they know that the people are staying around and they need, they, they need to water this thing Maybe late in the evening. So early in the morning, people are coming and they are crossing. They don't have any dust in their dresses and they are they breathing the dust and all these things. If I come here and I get this thing, uh, Qatar or this thing, I feel having, I don't feel comfortable with the, with the dust. They should be doing daily. That's my problem. They should be watering here. They should water this place daily. Not only the Yemeni Munukureni said, Government let me and no man Kasama Yabibia for my hair because those time I'm not. That's the power we will ramp for them. A senior man, it must say, I've got an independent contract now, Mamma dear. And a moment, I say, any time you're going to see you better, every goof cross and then foot to ride a cop. Yeah, we are Muko, Mabaha, or Muko. Oh, maybe you move about twelve for some Muko break. Twelve from Muko break, no. Oh, maybe you're two o'clock. It's a foot to dust and a bay hanging us. In fact, once a Mr. Nostra and fifty me by you, a hammer. But that's that's the Musa Copim say, I debate. It is Moche, Mamma, our master said, Oh, Mamma, you soon cost on my yang. Gana, you won't see you, young Cotto. It's a moment what a crown of my yang. Mr. Futuro and Tika Bacromo, who was uncle would you so? And you go to the way, maybe Futuro and Ababa for Macacra. Yes, I will come to my boy, Crown, who say, No one can be crossing to what to be a decay before me, who say, Saka, Bana Mitchina, before Omeche Muna may call it. Chief Resident Engineer for the Ofanko to Insuam Junction Project, Engineer Kabana Bimpon, says that the contractors on the project are aware of the dusty nature of the road and steps have been initiated to get the situation addressed. You know, requirements that dust is kept to the minimum or to the lowest level. And what we have been doing in the past, and of course, still is the use of water that is as um, a dust suppression material. And we realized that in the past one to two months, there have been a number of challenges, and these challenges have all come together to give us the problem that we are facing today. The first one has to do with the number of water bowsers um, that we are using on the road. There have been um, some mechanical failures which they have tried to resolve that has reduced the numbers on the road. At a point, we had to bring in private tankers to assist us. And these have they largely helped. But then the other challenge has been with the weather. The dry weather has uh, ensured that even though we are watering or trying to suppress the dust, and also coupled with the volume of traffic on the road. Within a short time, the surface dries up. And then we, so you, for instance, there from Ofanko to White House, you'll find out that we have a tanker that is working almost the whole day. First and foremost, I must apologize to um, motoring public because this is not our desire. I've seen some uh, social media posts that their lives matter. Yes, indeed. Each person's life matter, and we do not intend to worsen the plight of motorists. More so, the those who live, the inhabitants who live in the close or in close proximity to the project. We will endeavour to try and continue uh, to ensure that we suppress dust, even within the challenges that we have. We further added that the project is close to 40% complete. We have. Uh, done approximately 40% of the project. And um, as you may have seen, 
the initial part of the work, which is mainly the concrete works and drainage. That is what takes a lot of time. And we've done more than 60 to 70 percent of our retaining walls. The cross drainage structures have um, probably 80 to 90 percent completed. We have started the U drains, which is the longitudinal drains, and they are also progressing steadily because we need to do all these things before we can start with the road works. And when I say road works, the pavement works. Um, the earthworks have been also largely completed. Motorists, commuters and individuals staying or living along this road, that is the Ofran Kortu in some junction stretch, are urging the contractors to address the issue of the dust on this project. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Ni Latte.